This AI system that I'm about to show you has helped us generate over $3 million just this last month for the Shopify brands we work with at over a 6x ROI. Now, this video is going to be perfect for you if you want to double uh, your profitability with paid social, save five times more time when writing high converting copy, create messaging that resonates perfectly with your target audience, and seamlessly scale cold traffic into customers. AI is literally the ultimate tool for not only maximizing results, but also saving time for scaling your e-commerce brand. And as everyone knows, AI is rapidly evolving, so it's very, very, very important you stay ahead of the curve and really understand on how to use this tool to maximize validity, everything. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Let's go ahead. I can also attach this uh, Notion link in the description as well, so you'll actually have access to this. It basically is you know, pretty in-depth with all the prompts and all that kind of stuff that you're going to want to use, so I will remember to do that for you so that way you have this. But basically, first things first, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to figure out which templates and which kind of pages that we want to model off of. So in today's video, for the sake of it, we're going to do a landing page as well as a founder note landing page, basically benchmarking off of these two. And then we're going to build it for a brand that we work with, you know, Shop Nation, essentially. So they've also gone from 40 to almost 200 grand a month in a few months. So if you want that kind of growth in your Shopify brand, then, um, you know, first link in the description, we'll, uh, we'll give you a hand there. But I digress. So basically, what we'll need to do is because we have these here, we're going to need to kind of prime the, you know, the AI essentially first and foremost to make sure that it, you know, we really know the audience. So one, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to essentially know what the target audience is. So in this case here, you can see here that we have the target audience is men 35 years and older who are woodworkers, DIY enthusiasts. So you can see here, once I pull up the ad account, you can see the age range is mostly on this on our main campaign or one of our main campaigns. You can see here, basically, as soon as you hit 35 and older, that's really where a bulk of purchases goes. It really kind of ranges. I guess this one here, 25 to 34, does decent, but really a bulk of the revenue happens after you know, people are 35 years old. So that's essentially where I got that from, just basically using the data. Like, where's the bulk of the revenue and the profit coming from? Um, and that's why we're doing that. And it's really all men. Um, there's definitely not females buying, you know, some dust collectors for their, uh, for their band saws and stuff. That's yeah doesn't really happen uh too much and then basically it's really this is just us knowing the audience honestly but you can go ahead and kind of plug and play for whatever works best for you but you know it's really woodworkers you know diy enthusiasts contractors anyone who has like some sort of you know at home workshop garage etc okay and then after that you're gonna need to figure out the best tonality so Without question, every single time we'll always use we'll always use persuasive in the tonality. So every single time, and then basically a combination of whatever you know in in our case, like whatever the brand wants, how they want to sound, but also we can actually pry and ask the you know and the and ask the AI. So something you can do there is you can basically say what tone of voice would appeal to my target audience of, and then go ahead and plug it in. So you could just go like this of men 35 years old who are. So you can basically go like that. So what tone of voice would appeal to my target audience of men 35 years and older who are woodworkers, DIY enthusiasts? And what it's going to do is it's going to spit out a nice little, you know, piece here in terms of, you know, the kind of the main pieces that they want. So knowledgeable experience, straightforward, no nonsense, trustworthy, reliable, confident, but humble, and, you know, slightly rugged and down to earth. Kind of makes sense, to be honest. So yeah, you can do that there. Yeah, that's all sorted for that. And then what else do we need? So after that, we also need, yeah, actually it's really a, those main two. And then basically what we always want to do is we always want to talk about the goal. So whenever we're doing these, we always want to kind of give the format in terms of the template. We need the goal. We need the target audience age demo interests, all that kind of stuff. And then we need the tonality without these. It just doesn't come out exactly how you want it. You really need to give it these ma three main things. If you do this, you'll be successful with them, with them. And, you know, I've done a ton of research on AI and these are really the main things that we uh, look forward to, to include. And in terms of this case, the goal for here is to resonate with the target audience and be able to convince the reader that the dust collector is the best problem product to solve their problem, essentially. So that's really kind of what we put there in terms of that part there. Now, up next, what we want to do is we need to kind of give it the formatting in terms of this. So we want to replicate this here and then doing it for essentially selling these dust collectors essentially. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to go to our nifty little tool here. I'm going to go down to five reasons why listicle. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to basically model off this. We're just going to copy this here and then we're just going to change it, change it up here. 
So if we scroll all the way down and it said people on mats, we're gonna do shop nation, boom, just like that. And then target audience, we're gonna change that. So I'm just gonna scroll up and grab it here because I already have it there. So target audience, we've already figured that all out. Goal, we've already figured out the goal. And then in terms of the formatting, we're just gonna model off of this. So I'm just gonna grab this here. And then we're just gonna go ahead and plug that in. And then essentially, so if you see us here, write the copy for a five reasons why list landing page for this website here. The target audience is men 35 years and older who are woodworkers, DIY enthusiasts, contractors, all that kind of stuff. Gold landing page. And then the last piece here, use a persuasive, knowledgeable, straightforward, straightforward and trustworthy tone. Use the copy in this page and model in terms of the format. So now we can go ahead and press play. And then it's what it's gonna do is actually gonna basically kind of split it up really, really nicely here. So header, subheader, five reasons why, dust collector, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna basically create multiple of these. So say goodbye to messy cleanups, efficient dust collection, better projects, easy to install, build to last, just like your projects, breathe easy, literally CTA header, CTA subtext and button text. So you see how it basically just models it almost like exactly, which is actually perfect. Now, I will go ahead and we want to make sure that we, one, these points are, are as dialed as they possibly can be. And then two is that they're in the exact order. But then really the 80-20 rule of these pages is always the header and sub headline. Because basically what happens is if I go move this to mobile, literally every single person is going to see this. No questions asked. So it's probably something you'd want to split to us if literally 100% of the traffic is going to see this here. You probably want it to uh, it to be split test and be as perfect as it possibly can be. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna say write five more versions of the subheader of the subheader. I'm gonna say you don't have to you don't have to start it off. What I like doing sometimes as well too, and what we've worked best is we'll do like struggling with X, like struggling with you know too much dust in your shop all that kind of stuff. And then basically what we'll have is, you know, here's five reasons why, you know, the dust collector is, you know, perfect for solving that problem. Something along the lines of that. And we'll find out that that is better because sometimes as soon as they see the five reasons why it is a little bit overplayed, but don't get me wrong, these pages still are literally the highest converters. They're, they, they work so well, they're so simple and they just convert very well. So if it ain't, bro if it ain't broke, it don't fix it, as they say. So five more, right, five more versions of this at heart. You don't have to start it off with five reasons. You can start it off, you can start it off with something similar to struggling with X, push mark. Here's five reasons. And then I'm just gonna go dot, 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 and then go like that. Five more reasons. Make these as attention grabbing as possible as possible and really hook the hook the reader in reader in as best hook the reader in and really hook the reader in crap so now basically what we're trying to we're trying to optimize for is basically this part up here we're really just trying to make as many versions as possible and really pick from the best ones struggling to keep your workshop quick. here's how to fix it for good here's how to fix what your workshop which is five reasons dot greater dust collection struggling to keep your workshop clean so basically what we could do this is why you don't want to do it exactly exactly what i really like create five more versions uh, that are similar to this this is what i like the best right here Here's five reasons the Shop Nation Dust Collector. Dust Collector is the best in the market. The market. So I kind of like that that headline there. And then what we can do is kind of take that and create five more versions similar to this. Plus three saw us over here's five reasons shop that stands out. Battling a messy workshop. Discover five reasons why. So you can see here, these are actually really, really, really solid. I like that as like one of them. Something similar to that or one of these. Basically right on the top there. And then what we can do um, is grab a really, really, really good review. They don't really have any press, um, but we can grab a really, really good review and kind of put that there. So that's how I do the uh, the first one there. And then what we can do is kind of dial in at least all these main points here and kind of adjust those. So that's how I'd write it for the first one there. Now for the second one, what we want to do is do a founder's note kind of lander essentially. So what we're going to do is go back to our nifty little tool and then we're going to go to story, basically story kind of basically similar to this. We're kind of modeling off of 
essentially this one here and also the magic spoon one here as well yeah so very very similar model as well too so you can kind of play around with it and play around the template but you can see here the one that we created but basically that's the one we're trying to try to model off of there so basically what we're going to do is we're going to scroll all the way down and then we're going to grab this prompt right here and then we're going to go here and then we're going to go ahead and paste it in and then we're going to just change that there and then we're going to go shop nation boom and then gold landing page we're actually going to model off of this quite a bit so gold landing page right there target audience right there and then what we're going to do persuasive boom that is perfect and then we're modeling off of all this copy and then boom so now basically it's going to spit out in targeting the perfect target audience talking the exact tone that we want basically with the exact objective that we're going for here and essentially it's just going to model off of you know this page here or just like basically the founder note one now once you do get this so sada server we've been there we've been there nothing more satisfying than blah, blah. so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go to about here and he has a nice little story and what i'm going to do is i'm going to say rewrite I'm gonna say create three versions of this section here with three different headlines, different headlines. And I'll say, please model off of the story, the shop nation website, website. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste this in here. And I actually like this length and keep it around the same length. Make sure that's all good. Yes, sir. Okay. So what I want to do is create basically three more versions of this and see if basically that's going to be the main split test is really essentially the headline and kind of the, yeah, the kind of little story, a uh, little blurb there. Because once again, we go over to mobile, which is literally where 90% of the traffic is going to be. And what you're going to find out very, 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 very quickly is that every single person is going to see this. So it is most likely the thing that you'd want to split test. And it's probably not the best thing to split test the photo in the back because you can't really see it too, too well on mobile. But yeah, that is why we're doing that. I'm tired of the workshop mess. I'm Travis, the guy behind Shop Nation, building this thing's my life. Blah, blah, blah. I actually like that. A bit more personal. Tired of the wet workshop mess. Your workshop deserves better. That's kind of like the main benefit or the clean workshop dream. Ooh, okay. I like that. One of them kind of tired of X. And then the other one is one of these two. So I actually like that a lot. I'm trying to see like Nate Woodwork and Hobby. I like these a lot here. Much, much more than this here. This one isn't really as personal. This is really coming from Travis, which what we're going to do. We're going to get his face in there. And then what that does is kind of people buy from people and they resonate from people. Once they see that, you know, it's like, oh, okay, you know, came from Amanda and Liz, you know, they look like moms. And then this guy, you know, he just looks like a woodworker. You know what I mean? Like I just, you just kind of see it and then it, it just makes sense right away. So that's basically how we're going to structure it. Um, really just using this prompt here. And then essentially what it's doing is spitting out all of the, basically the entire set. I'm introducing the ultimate workshop upgrade boom ultimate dust control easily installation better air quality built to last like that is literally perfect what's inside craftsmanship meets cleanliness and then right at the end ready to build without the mess so you can see here that it's going to basically model off of that right near the bottom there ready to build without the mess boom 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 and then we can model it now the last piece of the pie is once we have all the copy and we have the pages that we want to model off of you want to basically go ahead and build it out now a couple options one is you can you know grab imagery and stuff like that and custom code it we used to do that. Let me tell you, a bit of a pain in the ass. And then second option is you use some sort of software. Okay. So there's many on the market, you know, the gem pages, there's PageFly, there's, you know, these different softwares. The one that we use now, which is actually shown to me by a friend, which I really, really like, is one here called PageDeck. And there's two main reasons why I use this. One is kind of like what it says, the fastest landing page for e-commerce. They literally are so fast. So the page speed on these is less than, less than a second load time. So we're talking milliseconds. And basically there's a stat out there in e-commerce basically is where for every one second increase in load time, there's a one, like there's a three to 10% decrease in conversion rate. So you want speed. As soon as it come off there, 
you can basically see as soon as I refresh this, it's just instant. Like it's just, they're so fast. So that's the main reason. And then the second reason I really like them, well, second, well, actually, 1B I'll say is the formatting on mobile is perfect. So it's already perfectly formatted on mobile. And then the other main reason is because of these templates that they have, they're all really, really perfectly formatted for like, they're all just kind of what's trending well in the D2C space. So you got hex slide and then you can kind of preview these templates and then just model off of them, which is awesome. And then once you have the AI prompts and you got the imagery, then you're pumping out landers like like it's nobody's business, you know, it's, uh, yeah, it works really, really well. And this is obviously, you know, this brand, I mean, you literally look up hex cloud revenue, you know what they're doing. I think it's about 300 million, yeah, 300 to 50 million dollar revenue a year. Obviously they have Gordon Ramsay. That's really what exploded them. I really doubled their business over a year, but yeah, you got, you know, pages like that. You got Shopple Hero product. The one that I used for to start off, that's very, very similar is, is this one here. So you can see you're basically modeling off of this one here. And that's how we kind of essentially did it. The only problem with it with uh, Peapod is they don't really have a third color. If you have a third brand color, it's actually going to look even nicer because you can see how it's got the nice blue and then it's like yellowish color. Let's see what this is. Yeah, it's kind of like this. Yeah, yellowish. Yeah, very nice color. So that's what's nice about it. And then these ones here, we're going to have like the nice, we're going to have the orange and, you know, the black and all kinds of stuff. So they have three brand colors and of course the white. So it's going to come out really nice. But, but yeah, you can see the modeling off of that. In terms of the uh, founder letter, you can model off of this one here from Magic Spoon. And then they're constantly just updating these. They're going to do more and more and more. They actually just launched an A-B testing feature. By the way, this is not like a, you know, on pitch to use page deck i personally just like it you know friends in the space that, that i know personally really really like it as well the only downside is the customization ability is a little little tougher than others that is the one downside i will say but other than that i think it's you know the templates work really really well in my opinion it isn't really come down to the ux ui it's really about the copy which if you model off of the ai prompts there the copy will be pretty dialed of course you're gonna have to touch it up and you're gonna have to adjust things but you know it does all the legroom for you and then obviously the imagery that's really what comes down and then also your formatting for how you go ahead and test it how you go ahead and a b test it and do different you know headlines and all kind of stuff and also you know, kind of know the winning angles that you want to use for, for it of course there's more to it but this really really does you know most of the heavy lifting for you there so Hopefully that all makes sense there. Like I was saying, I'll go ahead and attach this in the, uh, yeah, in the description there for you. So yeah, we covered this, covered some winning landing pages, and then also you can see software that you can go ahead and use to build it out with, you know, paycheck essentially. But like I was saying, there's others in the market, you know, there's also PageFly. You do not need to, you know, there's, there's many others as well too, that you can kind of take a look at this page line. Then I'm trying to think of the other one as well. That's really, really popular. I can't think of off the top of my head. I'll leave it in the description there if I, if I can think of it, but there's many others as well that you can check out as well too. But I personally just like page deck, honestly the best. So, and of course you're welcome to custom code it as well too, that, is, and get a developer to essentially to do that as well. That is of course another option as well. So that way you can, you know, essentially make it perfectly custom coded to your liking so hopefully that all makes sense but yeah hopefully you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching all the way to the end i appreciate you for sticking around if you have any questions feel free to drop them down below and if you have a brand and you want help with landers ads all of that good stuff and you want to help grow in your brand there'll be a link in the description uh, to book in a call with yours truly but other than that thank you so much for watching all the way to the end take it easy cheers for watching take it easy bye bye